Hello. Today, in this video, I am going to talk about the channel direction. We can have channels which can only receive data, and we can also have channels which can only send data, or we can send data too. For example, we have, we have a channel. For example, we what we do is we have a So let's say we have we have a channel and using this channel we send some data and then at one end we receive some data so this is a sender and this is a, a receiver now we can also specify that this channel will only receive or this channel will only send the data uh, we can do this in function parameters for example we have a function so we have a function abc and we can specify something like a message and then we have a channel now we can give a direction here let's say this direction and it's a string channel now this means this channel this msg channel will only receive data right and we have another function let's say function abc2 and we have message and ch it's also a string type and we can here specify that from this channel we will receive data so from the direction as you can see the direction here the direction is towards the channel ch and here the direction is outward from the channel so this one will receive will only receive some data and this one will only send data so in this channel in in the first one we cannot send any value right sending any value will be wrong and uh, here which is a receiving end so we cannot uh, so we uh, sorry we can uh, we cannot So we cannot pull out any values from uh, this receiving channel and we cannot send any data to this receiving channel like we cannot push any data to this channel now let's uh, try to implement this and see how this channel direction works So let's write a function. Let's say func. Uh, I I'll I will name this function send to. Right. So from this name uh, we can uh, the name specifies the name of the function specifies that we are going to send something to the channel. So let's say I will say message box. So name of the channel is message box. And I will say C H A N Chen, and in this Chen, I will say it will receive uh, the information. It will uh, hold the information, and it will be a string type. And I will write another parameter which is the message, and it's a string. So this message, this method, uh, will. So in this method, we have a channel, and that will only receive data. Now let's write another function and uh, from in this function what we will try to do is we will try to receive data from one channel and send it to another one so it will be something like receive data from box one so from the uh, from the first message box let's say this is message box one we will receive data from the box one and send to box two so we will receive from the box one i will send it to box two so here i will have to write two channels first will be message box one and from message box one we will uh, pull the data we will receive the data so we will say we will give this direction and channel so and the type is a string 
right? So from the box one, we will receive data and we will push it to the box two. So I will say message box two and Chen, and we will we are pushing into this. So the direction is so, so the direction is towards the channel, and the type is again. A string right okay so let's try to write uh, the, the body of this message so what i'm going to do is message box one i'm going to uh, insert some message which is msg now that's very simple and in this method what i'm going to do is i will take the information i will like uh, pull the information from message box one so i will say msg message box one and uh, i will uh, it's the channel so i will uh, receive some like this and now i have received information in this uh, variable and now i will push it to the box two so i will say message box two and msg which is the message let's give a little right so it's a very very simple i'm just trying to uh, uh, I'm trying to explain how we can give direction to the to different channels as a parameter. And now let's write the main function. Func main. Now I will declare two message boxes here. So I will say message box one is equals to make and uh, let's say make channel of type string, right? And I will give the uh, buffer buffer of one, okay? I will copy paste the same thing. I will change the name message box two, and the buffer is of one. Now, I will um, uh, call the first message first method. So that is send send to and uh, message box one, and the message is this is first message. right and then receive data in the receive data what we are trying to do is we will passing these two uh, messages uh, sorry channels and uh, then we will receive the data so <clears throat> so i will say receive data from box one and send it to box two so i will pass message box one and message box two and now let me print it. So I will say fmt dot print ln print ln fmt. And here we will receive the data from the message box two. So we will say message box two, right? So I have to import the fmt package. Import fmt. Save this. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I have declared two channels. I am passing the message to the first channel, and if you see in this function, it's a receiving channel, so it will only receive messages. So as you can see from the direction, direction is towards the channel. And then I am calling receive data from box one and send to box two and passing these two channels. And in this function, as you can see, we are, the message box one is now acting as a as a receiving end. So we will push, we will pull up the information from message box channel, and we will push into the message box two channel, as you can see from the direction. And finally, we are printing it. So let's uh, run this. So as you can see, this is first message. This has been printed because uh, we passed, we we received from the first message box and sent it to the second one, and then we are now here uh, printing it. So this is all about the message, uh, the channel directions. We can specify the channel directions in in the parameter of the function. I hope this will be clear to you. Thank you.